Well, Paul and Pat, we do expect the heavier rain to move in overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. Right now, we are experiencing just steady light to even pockets of moderate rain. You can see the rain coming in right now, heading into Studio City, Glendale, Pasadena, heavier uh, cell there in Fullerton. Uh, but the heavier rain just to our north and west. You can see it moving into the Santa Barbara area. Uh, that will be pushing through our area over the next few hours. For your drive out the door tomorrow, it uh, will still be a little bit wet out there, so it could be slow, but again, the worst of it will be moving through over the next few hours. There is a winter storm warning in effect for the mountain areas as well as a wind advisory. Uh, snow levels will be dropping as low as 4,500 feet, but another foot of snow uh, will be expected across areas above 6,000 feet, and those winds uh, are strong, so we've got the snow and the blowing snow and even more rain by the weekend. I'll have more on that five-day forecast coming up. Pat, back to you. All right. <laughs> you know what? We, in the Extended forecast, yes. And in fact, to June? <laughs> yes, months from now, no. Uh, tomorrow, we will definitely see much drier conditions. We still have a chance of showers here or there for your Friday, uh, but it's going to be a lot better than it is out there today. And the rain is still coming down. We're looking live at LAX, and you can see how slick the roadways are. In fact, the rain will actually become a little heavy, heavier over the next few hours, and then it will start to clear up for your Friday. But you can see just steady rain, uh, mainly light, but we do have some pockets of some heavier rain. I uh, see where we see these shades of yellow right there, Pasadena. Uh, that's where we're starting to see that moderate rain also heading into Walnut. But uh, overall, this storm system hasn't been that bad. Those snow levels down to around 4,500 feet, but above 6,000 feet, another foot of snow expected. We've got the winds that will be picking up, so we'll have the snow and blowing snow, and that's why the winter storm warning still in effect uh, for the mountain areas through 9 a.m. tomorrow. But again, the storm system will be pushing through overnight tonight. In the next few hours, we'll, we will start to see the rain pick up just a bit. But overall, some scattered showers tonight through early tomorrow morning. And again, once that starts to clear up, we will see some sunshine tomorrow. Can't forget, you do expect to see a hit or miss shower here or there for your Friday. And then by Saturday, we've got another storm system moving in. This one will be much weaker, and we just expect to see some very light rain from that. But temperatures are on the cool side. We're down into the 40s and 50s. 50s right now. Uh, temperatures again have been running below average 62 for the high today. Normal high should be into the 70s. We actually have some 70s in the forecast. You're going to be very pleased with that extended forecast. But for now, we are dealing with the cool, wet and windy weather. First area of low pressure moving through tonight. Uh, once that clears up, we will see some sunshine for your Friday afternoon, even into your Saturday morning. Uh, the next storm system starts to drop in by about Saturday night. And again, that that will be the weakest of the three, so that just is, is expected to bring uh, some very light rain. So for your weekend, it's definitely not going to be a washout, but uh, you will see a shower here or there, and temperatures will be on the cool side. So uh, for Friday into Saturday, temperatures still running below average. For Sunday, uh, we will start to see some clearing temperatures eventually into the mid 60s, and then Monday into Tuesday. Finally, that's when we will really start to dry out. We expect to see sunny skies and temperatures actually making it into the 70s everywhere by Tuesday. Pat Paul, back to you.